five, two guilty verdicts handed down today in the mob killing of former South Florida businessman Gus Boulis. Boulis, the founder of San Cruz Casinos and Miami Subs, was gunned down back in 2001. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live right now in Fort Lauderdale with the verdicts and the drama afterward. Joan. Well, it was a day of high emotion, Erica. A guilty verdict on first-degree murder and on conspiracy to commit murder. The defendant showed little emotion, but his family was devastated. A, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. Anthony Big Tony Muscatello's conviction brought tears to his family and then anger. <laughs> Moments later, Muscatello's wife, Marion, passed out in the hallway and had to be carried away to the hospital. Inside the courtroom, Muscatello remained emotionless, even as he was cuffed. The jury deliberated 15 hours over three days before finding him guilty of ordering the execution-style killing of Miami Subs founder Gus Bullis. So it's particularly gratifying that we have a family and a community that's received a substantial measure of closure. You can never bring a murdered victim back, but certainly you can see that justice is done, and I think it's happened. Bullis was boxed in and shot to death driving home from his Fort Lauderdale office back in February 2001. At the time, he was locked in a power struggle with the new owners of his son Cruz Casino gambling business. Adam Cadan, one of the owners, had hired Moscatello for security, and prosecutors say Moscatello ordered the hit. He took a calculated risk, thinking that if he killed Gus Bulls, that things would fall into shambles and that they would be able to continue to, to uh, get money from Sun Cruz Casino. And now Moscatello could be looking at the death penalty. The jury will come back in September to decide on a sentence. Well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't disappointed right now. And the family being de devastated, and Mr. Moscatello, to his credit, was really trying to, um, to comfort them. And so the jury will return in September to consider that sentence. Coming up at 6 o'clock, Gus Bullis' family has been present for this trial, and we'll hear from his nephew. That's all new at 6, reporting live in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.